my wife got me this in 98. This, this is a long time coming. Don't laugh at this shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? That's me. That's me when I was in preschool. I remember waking up, taking that picture. Right up, right, a block up from 904 Michigan, man. You know what I'm saying? This is when I was like four or something like that. You know what I mean? This shit, I ain't supposed to be showing y'all that. that was, nigga, I was wearing Versace back then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all was the only nigga in school wearing Versace for real back in the day. <laughs> it looks like Versace. What's that from? This is from high school, man. This is um, from Southwest High School, man. This is ninth grade. You know what I'm sizzling? I don't know who's sitting. Oh, that's a girl named Michelle sitting with me at, at lunch. I remember her. She used to work at Worlds of Fun. Big titties, dude. Tight. This is when Tech Nine was born. That is when all the crazy shit started creeping in. See, I went from uh, pretty boy dancer to fucking myself up on purpose so people will listen to my music so I just start wearing my hair wild from the, you know what I'm saying, the witch doctor shirt it glowed in the dark, you know what I'm saying, it was tight, it was like a picture of me as a witch doctor and it, you turn off the lights and all the teeth and everything and the face would glow, it's dope, nigga, we used to do big shit back then. Yeah, my homegirl, uh, Selena took these pictures, she went to school with me, homegirl Selena, she took it of me one day. I used to think she wanted me, but she wouldn't give me that blue nine. <laughs> yeah. Icy Rock. It's the early Nuthouse days, you know what I'm saying? Me as the wolf man, dude. My facial hairs can actually get thick like that, man. About out to here if I let it. I used to twist it. That's my brother Dino Mac. Me, skinny. I'm about to get back down to that weight so I look like a crackhead and shit. That's my brother Dino Mac. That's Icy Rock. He's the producer. This ring, it's alive, fucking gone bad, T9X, Icy Rock, you know what I'm saying? That's us taking early Nuthouse photos, some of the songs we used to do back then, Evil Instinct, crazy, I've been on that shit for a long time. Yep. This is me down in um, Washburn University, the, our, my first show down there. I forgot where Washburn is, but, you know, that's somewhere near our Kansas City, I don't know. Kicking it. My boy Beasel that died on Christmas, you know what I'm saying, recently. He came up with 66 888 That shirt he has on is a, a, a character we created called Eta, E-T-A-H. It was hate backwards. It was crazy. My brother Dynamite, Kizio, my boy Punch. He dances out here in many videos now. A lot of, a lot of famous people in that picture. Same show, you know what I'm saying, down there. Washburn, damn, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I was right. I was just guessing too. Yep, that's it. This is when I was here in '93. Bombs for your moms. Um, Dred Scott produced it. You know, so I wrote this out here in LA. You know, what I'm saying everybody gotta stay calm. We got the bombs. We got the bombs for your moms. Back when I didn't give a fuck about how my facial hair looked or anything. It was just about music. I didn't give a fuck. I was a wolf man. You know what I'm saying? Some more music, now I'll let my guy start talking. Some songs I had, it's called Gat. Gun Associated Tongue, tight. So back when I was coming up with the three faces of madness, you know what I'm saying? Smiling face, sad face, and I mean the, the, the wicked face, and the sad face, and the smiley face. Yeah, that's back when we was creating the three faces of madness, that's what Nuthouse was all about, three faces of madness and shit. It was beautiful, Brian created all that shit. Welcome to my asylum. We just start going way left with it. Nut House was big underground following. A song called Welcome to My Asylum. Icy Rock has all that shit. Some other books of madness shit that Brian wrote. We got together on creating the psycho culture and shit like that. Shit that we believed in. Same thing here. There are things we don't understand from those dark secret places inside us, you know what I'm saying? So you can imagine what the fuck we were on, you know what I'm saying? Was on some other shit, we always had the face of hate behind us, Eta, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty sick. Killer Clown, you all heard about that. That was like the enemy that lived within my dreams and shit, you know what I mean? What I became. Damn, that's like I was drawing my hairstyle back then, I ain't even trip. Shit. It's like red spikes. When's that from? Nigga, 
This had to be at least, man, when did I do the Killer Clown, man? Probably 89, man. 89, it had to be 89. So I was still hanging out with Kizio, that was on early Flavor Pack days. Damn, I drew my hairstyle back then, homie. Damn near, huh, Court? Shit, that's fucking crazy. Okay, <laughs> I never tripped on that. <clears throat> Yeah, we were gonna do like the Books of Madness and shit like this. We was gonna have a couple of songs, but we was gonna put out like an EP for Nuthouse, you know what I'm saying? It's called Welcome Back, you know what I'm saying? From the catacombs, from, from six feet under six feet, the psycho culture, you know what I'm saying? The level of madness. So it was like Welcome Back from there. We was like bringing our sick shit to the surface. You know, it was real wild shit that we was on, man. It's back when we um, put my cousin, cousin Asia in the group. We called her Flack the Grimstress. She was hard. She was on uh, I Can Get Grim with us. Me and Icy Rock, you know what I'm saying? Stice, I like Dizzle. Come on in, Buys One. That's my dog, Buys One. He's the man that's about to make it happen. Forever ready to religion like a motherfucker. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Big blood. Yeah. Let's Make Some Fucking Noise was a song, a beautiful song that we had on uh, Nuthouse. That's when the Nuthouse was really becoming to be something solid, you know, like hard lyrics. Some say it's dark and demented. Got cold feet when this shit was invented. Said that the nut house would never be a seller. Tried to tell the fella, but my thoughts ate him up like Berdella. It was like shit like that. I'm reading it, I was on rap. It's tight, it was tight. Say hello to my nuts, I don't remember that one. You know what I'm saying, but it was some shit. Flavor Pack used to put us on. Those are the only motherfuckers used to put us on. They used to put us on at a, uh, at a Granada first, you know what I'm saying? Granada's like my birthplace for real. They, they the ones that started coming to my shows first. Bill Pyle and all those people put that together. I used to hang out with Dawood Hakeem, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was the shit, man, it was the shit. Danny girl, I miss you. We miss all this Flavor Pack shit. Everybody, Jeremy went back and said fuck it and Flavor Pack was no more. Early, not, well, middle Nuthouse Pictures when Flack the Grimms just was in the group. I can get grim. Flack the Grim Shits was on that song with me. I can get grim on this nigga. You know, when that shit releases, when I see Rock ever lets it go, uh, you're gonna say, yeah, they was on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Who am I, Nine Millimeter Brain Eater? All, t all nut house shit. This was back when I was Charles Manson, for real, dude. I drove everybody crazy. Terror Vision. We was always on some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? This was on some serial killer shit, for real. I'm blaming it on television, like uh, uh, Elmer Fudd having. 12 gauges and shit, and you send me the sound, I'm shooting motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, from day one, so what are we supposed to think? You know, I was on some other shit. I'm Job Bakari, drawing pictures of me on 5, 6, uh, Highland, 56 and Highland, you know, it was just weird. <laughs> that was like my first pay paycheck I ever got in Topeka. That was my first paid show, $300. I did something for the city of Topeka. You know what I'm saying, my first paid show, beautiful, bing. My first check. Tech 1013, that's the Bible verse on my neck. You know what I'm sizzling? It's the Bible verse on my neck. Come on, Mimi. What's up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the, 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 the belief on my neck. He who treads the path of the beast is also he whose sins are repentable. But beware, for the beast in his past may return to haunt his present and twist the thoughts of the righteous. That means like, be careful what you do to motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Because say you do something to a motherfucker back then, and then you try to change your life later years and shit, the same motherfuckers you did wrong in the past will come back to fuck with you. And if you are righteous, you know what I'm saying, make you want to kill them and twist your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? So 